Hello guys, today I would like to show you one of my worst purchases from Aliexpress and this is the phone I buy, it's called a P25 if I remember correctly and it was sold as a rugged, keep in mind that, rugged Android PTT smartphone so it was designed to work with a Zello application so you have this PTTK and you can assign this to a Zello account and when you press you start transmitting on the Zello application so in general it looks ok and it works ok but there is a couple of problems on previous video I'll show you one of the problem about the touch screen when you are activating the Zello by a PTT button and there is an other problem about the microphone which is extremely quiet it products extremely quiet sound even when you use this as a regular phone you basically are here very quiet by the other side so the first thing when you see this on the Aliexpress page it looks rugged it looks almost like a two-way radio like this one but if you just get them inside your hand you can feel that this plastic is extremely cheap this one the plastic is a very hard, very tough. This one is extremely cheap. But the worst part, it was sold as a rugged, rugged smartphone. So when you buy something rugged, you would like to withstand some abuse. So let's talk about the problem. So first of all, on the side, you've got a connector which allows you to connect a Motorola speaker mic and as you can see here is a crack here is another crack and it what took about hmm about one week one week of wearing a shoulder mic from Motorola and this piece break out so that's how rugged it is but that's not the main problem which I've got so here's also a couple of cracks so you can clearly see how, how the build quality is this is a very cheap plastic that is chipping off it's if you hit it it will break crack I absolutely do not recommend you so here for example you can see all the cracks the plastic is just chipping off but that's not the main problem so that took about week for break and about month of use and we have another problem and the another problem was the battery and the battery start swelling it starts swelling and the battery was looking like this it pops out from the phone and I think that was the crack over here overnight when the battery is slow swollen so I contacted the seller and I told that we've got a problem about this battery that it was swollen and when the LiPoly battery is swollen it means it can catch a fire anytime and they say okay that's no problem you have to send the phone back and I of course told them that I'm not going to ship them battery which is obviously have some kind of problem maybe a short cell maybe some kind of chemical reaction 
and it can catch a fire so I will have a problem. I of course send them the detailed pictures showing the problem, showing the cracks and I ask them to replace the battery and they say no, only when I send the full phone they will check this as a warranty. So that was unacceptable for me because I was keeping this battery on the outside my home to be sure it won't catch a fire but after all this chat I of course contacted the phone manufacturer di directly and they say oh that's not our problem that's not our business talk to seller so I was like about a week without this phone and when I found out that the only way is to ship the phone back I just gave up the main problem was I did this on the Aliexpress and I was do not have a PayPal payment option <coughs> so the problem was they actually don't give any help because I was unable to retrieve my money back so I do not recommend you buying anything expensive not using PayPal because on PayPal I would I think I would have take the money back they have to pay me back about this problem because they there that's definitely their fault and that's definitely uh, not okay to send the battery over the shipping okay so what I did of course when after a week I go like okay I will do a fix myself so I just open the battery and I put my cell a new cell that's how it looks like I put new cell solder okay phone starts to working but after a couple of months I start having a problem on the touch screen so it's what's a very hard to press on the on screen keyboard when you are typing and later the top of the screen stops reacting on the touch screen so here you can see a crack and that crack actually I made when I was very angry and I was trying to press hard on the screen and it was not reacting so that's how it looks like do I recommend this phone no I absolutely do not recommend you buying this phone I think that's overpriced it's overpriced and it's low build quality it's very cheap plastic if you compare this into a proper two-way radio that that was very heavily worn and there is absolutely no cracks when you hit smash there is no chipping like that plastic that was used a wrong kind of plastic and I'm not sure if this is if this is a real antenna or this is a fake one because there is nothing inside and there is only uh, that very small part I'm not sure if this is a real antenna oh that's interesting that's, we, I think we have to open this hold down a second we, we're going to open this okay I'm back and I've got my tools so let's try to open this some screw looks normal okay let's check maybe some of them are secure I don't care about them because I'm going to throw this away in general it was working like it was advertised so the Android was working I was using this using a Pro PTT2 it was a commercial application 
similar to uh, Zello, but it does not have the on-screen issue. So you could use this using a shoulder mic, no problem. Okay, so let's open up this. But the microphone was very bad, very quiet. And the build quality is it's 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 extremely bad. It's extremely ba bad quality. Of course, when you talk about a rugged, it was sold as a rugged phone, so you can expect to be a better quality. Okay, we've got. The camera, two camera was working, but they have a very low quality, so I would not recommend you them. Okay, so let's see if we can open this. Okay. That's how it looks like. I can see a vibration motor over here. Sure if you are interested in that, but if you like you can pause and see what's inside. That's how it looks the main board. The main board. Sure if you can see anything. Yeah, that's our side connector for the speaker mic. That's how it looks like. It was a Motorola. Motorola connector. Actually, that that's looking quite nice. They use a flex connector. So this piece looks quite nice. Let's check. Okay, so I don't care about that. No, that knob is also a dropping down. It's very light rest okay so here's our this looks like our touch sensor so yes that was my fault but it was start to fail screen is okay okay so here is the antenna and it's a very nice looking antenna which gives you a great range and it's it's not connected to anything as you can see it's you know it's not connected to anything on this side there is like there's nothing you can pile this and check what's under Maybe there is some magic going on, but I don't expect. So why is what's inside? Here's our camera. It was our camera. Our side buttons. What's under that? Okay, what's under that? Is... What's that? Okay... So our board looks like this. The other side... I don't think... It looks like... 
That just looks like a speaker. That looks like a speaker to me. Maybe there is some kind of antenna. Maybe that's a GPS antenna. That might be a GPS antenna. Let's see if we can... Yes, that would be a GPS antenna, yes. Because we've got our connector over here and it's labeled a GPS. So, that's definitely a GPS antenna. That looks... If you just remove this, this whole big part just looks like a speaker. And I'm going to open this and investigate for you it just looks like looking like some kind of subwoofer just like speaker and yes that was a speaker and there is nothing else inside so that's how it looks like that's how it looks like do i recommend you buying this no i do not recommend you and when you next time decide to order something from China, use only PayPal. For, for small stuff, it's okay to trust them, but not to pay 150 US dollar from, for that kind of piece of... <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you what, because... You know, you know my opinion, you can clearly see how good this phone is. So, thank you for watching and take a lesson from me. Thank you, bye bye.